Hi there, I'm Dr. Tara Campbell, and this is your home care nebulized glutathione tutorial. Nebulized glutathione is an excellent treatment to do from home. As you know, glutathione is your master antioxidant. It works really hard to quench all the oxidants that you're exposed to on a daily basis, as well as to recycle other key antioxidants like vitamin C. And also noteworthy is magnesium is a mineral that supports your antioxidant pathway supporting your glutathione. So micronutrients are really important for cellular health and glutathione is even more important. And then this root nebulized, meaning inhaled in, is going into your lung tissue. Research shows that we have the most glutathione in the base layer of our respiratory skin cells. And so we're really enhancing that glutathione where you naturally have it as well as then that glutathione absorbs into your bloodstream. So we're getting not only a lung effect, but a bloodstream effect of this important nutrient. So here's how to do your home treatment. First, you need your nebulized glutathione bottle. I always say to keep this in the fridge after you open it and before you open it. Then you will also find in your care kit a saline bag, your nebulizer, which is yours to keep, and we will replenish your glutathione and saline and syringes as needed. There's also alcohol wipes and a couple of syringes. Within this vial of glutathione, there are 10 treatments because each treatment you're using three milliliters and it's a 30 milliliter vial. So um, once you've done the 10 treatments, then we'll replenish that glutathione for you. To do your kit, here's open everything so you have your mask mask with you which also comes in the kit your sailing bag your syringes the nebulized glutathione alcohol uh, wipes and just open the alcohol wipe wipe the top of the nebulized glutathione bottle also in your fridge you might want to keep this in a ziploc bag then with your sailing bag when you first use it there will be a blue tip on this end so just take that off this is the end you put the syringe into not the, the end with the sticker on it and so first off you are going to hold your nebulized glutathione like this nebulized um, the version of this glutathione all glutathione has a sulfur smell to it and it doesn't smell very nice. So this being nebulized, they've taken out that strong sulfur scent, but you'll still smell a little bit of sulfur in the first couple of seconds of your treatment, but it's not bad at all and it goes away. All right, so you have a red tip. You would, so take it out of its package, attach it onto the syringe, then hold your nebulized glutathione up like this. I always say anchor your hand like a pool cue. And to inject, don't go like this and free enter it. You wanna have some sort of anchor. And also, sorry, you wanna pull back just a little bit in the syringe and you will insert in, pull back just three milliliters. Make sure you're below the line of liquid. That first pull there, the tip was above the line. So I wasn't pulling any glutathione back. Then you can push it up to know you have three milliliters. So I can show you here. So I have, well, three milliliters. Then pull back that space again. See that space right there? And then anchor again, insert the needle and pull back another three milliliters. So if you have a milliliter space at the top, then you wanna make sure you've pulled down to about seven milliliters. So it's the one milliliter plus three of air, three milliliters of nebulized glutathione and three milliliters of saline. Okay, then you will take this blue cup, there's holes in the top, inject all the fluid into the cup, then attach to the base of the mask and then take your mask line and insert at the bottom and then place the mask on. This upper pinch you met metallic band can pinch to your nose. You can change size of the mask with the strings here. And then take the bottom of the line. I hope you can still hear me and attach it to the nebulized machine. It's a little tough, it's air sealed. 
There we go. So we're attached on, and then you'll just turn it on. It gets a little loud here. So you want to see air coming out the mask, and you turn on the nebulizer for 15 minutes. So set your timer. And sometimes people like to have Kleenex beside them just to blow your nose right after. Um, but you're not gonna, it's okay if you don't have Kleenex right beside you. And then after you're finished the treatment, you will take the mask off, take the cup off, and you'll just rinse both of these in warm water. You don't really have to use soap. You can if you want to. It rinses very easily and then let it dry and repeat. So I recommend doing this treatment two to three times a week for the 10 treatments that you have. Keep in touch with me throughout if you have any questions. And um, I'd love to hear what you notice from your home nebulized glutathione treatment. Have a great, or breathe on. <laughs> breathe that antioxidant uh, treatment into your lungs and enjoy higher health.